African bank has made a solid bounce back from a rough trading year. The company posted an increase in profits and in the six months ending March this year, African bank made a net profit after tax of 257 million rand uh, and that's compared to 135 million rand in the previous period. We've got the company CEO Kennedy Bungane who joins me now to discuss these results and we were just joking off air Kennedy that this is the first time I get to speak to you since you came that uh, became the Chief Executive Officer for African Bank. So thank you very much for your time this evening. Let's start with that overall look at the contributors to the numbers that you saw in this interim period. I mentioned in the, uh, in the intro, rather, that uh, a lot of people seeking loans with the bank, that boosted earnings. Uh, but what would you say were some of the other catalysts? It looks like uh, his picture froze. Oh, man, I don't know if he got nervous that he was speaking uh, with me. Uh, oh, okay, apparently he's back. Kennedy, if you can hear me now, uh, did you hear my first question? And if you could just, like, uh, maybe share your answer. I got your question before, and thanks for having me. No wonder the connection uh, fails. Uh, <laughs> you've taken too long to have me. Um, before the the 145 percent increase in our net profits um, on the half year is really evidence of um, our accelerate 25 strategy starting to bear some fruit. It is driven, as you've said, by an increase in um, credit sales, but also even more, which is the core really uh, business of uh, of African Bank. But more impressive for me is that uh, in line with Accelerate 25, where we are looking to um, expand the core of African Bank and diversify its business, um, we've seen here over 76% increase in the take up of our My World transactional bank accounts. This, of course, indicating that we are making steady progress in becoming not just a lender, but a fully fledged retail bank. No, absolutely. And that was going to be the other point I was going to touch on, Kennedy. Uh, we did see a huge increase in retail depositors uh, for the bank in the period. Um, and that does, what do you think that says about the health of the consumer and also the product offering that African Bank is putting out there for consumers? Three things come to mind immediately, Ophiwe, uh, and the first one should really be um, a shout out I sent to our millions of um, um, loyal customers who once again voted African Bank the overall um, six top uh, out of nine categories of customer satisfaction survey in the recent uh, um, SAS uh, survey. Um, this is a huge statement when your customers are saying uh, they're happy with um, uh, their experience of you and what you're doing to them. This is license for us if we were to hopefully do more with our customers and, and really get a much better share of their wallet beyond just lending services. We, we, we've got a winning proposition in a transactional banking My World account, uh, uh, savings and investments product, as you've alluded to, and uh, we're seeking to ensure that we strengthen the core of our business with uh, with these um, existing solutions. But um, over and above that, we certainly have got the balance sheet, the liquidity, the capital, um, and a plan to expand mm. the core of the business beyond just this uh, 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 capability today. Mm. I just want to direct our conversation more towards the consumer. And uh, we spoke briefly about it in your previous answer about uh, the lending and more consumers coming to African Bank. And you had tightened the lending conditions in 2020 at the advent of the pandemic. Those were loosened. Do you find that you're going to have to relook at the criteria, given the fact that we are seeing an interest rate hiking cycle and maybe some consumers may start to feel constrained and fall behind on their repayments? payments the uptend that we saw in south africa's gdp in 2020 to 2021 from minus six percent to uh, plus 4.6 <clears throat> did give us um, uh, con consumer space for uh, much more disposable income as evidenced now by um, um, uh, credit lending having opened up not just to ourselves in fact we're slightly slow as african bank compared to peers in that regard However, there are emerging risks uh, driven by food inflation and uh, fuel inflation 
are not unrelated to the Ukraine-Russia situation and um, uh, the lack of supply of some essential agricultural products. We've provisioned uh, adequately uh, for, for, for this advent. Um, and as we look forward, uh, as we look ahead rather, uh, we think we can support consumers um, to, on a reduced basis, maybe even more, a better managed basis, uh, continue to be open for business. Uh, I think as South Africans, we are lucky that uh, unlike um, uh, monetary policy in some of the large countries where at the very first sign of inflationary pressures, interest rates are now at some 40-year highs. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look at some of the major economies,